Hello, Dave Brennan with Case IH. I want to spend just a few minutes walking through the universal terminal screens on a 2000 series planner running the ISOBUS software solution. Let's walk through the, the screens. So you're going to see as we look at the universal terminal layout, control over on the right hand side. We're going to see a total of six run screens that I can page through and interact with. Those run screens are not configurable. They are hard coded based on the configuration of the planner, how it's spec, markers, no markers, bulk fill, on row hopper, those types of things. Those are going to be hard coded in here. You're going to see areas that have blue windows, blue boxes around those. Those are uh, windows that I can interact with and control. For example, planner system start. If I press and hold that, that will start all of the systems on that planner. You're also going to see a three bar box over on the right hand side. That three bar box is going to take us into what we call the main menu. That main menu is going to have four sub menus underneath it as well. Let's start with the wrench icon. That wrench icon is going to be basic planner setup information. The majority of this is going to be pre-populated as it's fed from the implement, from the planner. Um, but we may want to go ahead and look at some of those. For example, calibration settings. This is one, one area where we may need to visit on a regular basis to uh, zero the load cells if my planner is, is equipped with load cells. To zero that gyro, which is going to give us that turn compensation control. Maybe to do a frame calibration if that's something I need to, to work through. All right, so that's the wrench icon. Let's go ahead and look at the caliper icon. That's going to be the area where I go in and set up my work condition on my universal terminal. It's going to give me some basic information that's fed then over to the task controller side on the Pro 1200 uh, based on the configuration of that planner and how I'm, how I'm operating that planner. The stethoscope, that's going to be our diagnostic screen. That's going to provide all that information. Uh, if there happens to be a failure mode of some type on the planner, we can find further information about what went wrong. We can look at it there. And then the final tab we can interact with is going to be that recycle or reset tab. That's going to be that arrow in kind of a circle. Uh, probably the most user uh, used icon here or, or window here is going to be the reset ECU. And that's if I need a a power cycle on that planner for some reason because of a fault, I can easily go ahead and reset that, that ECU on the planner without powering down the display on the tractor and losing maybe my guidance correction source. So that's the universal terminal on a 2000 series planner running the ISOBUS solution. For further information, refer to your operator's manual or your local Case IH dealer.